Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the trails in Unity. So, let's begin. When you add trails in Unity, they give a special effect. This special effect is created when it comes to games. For example, here I have a pretty plain scene and I can transform it into something like this using only a trail. And this is exactly what we are going to be doing today. So this is a pretty simple scene. I only have a circle and I can control the circle with my mouse. So what we are going to be doing now is adding a trail to this circle. So let's begin. So to actually get the trail, we need to select on my player and look for the component called trail renderer. So once you added this component, you can see if you move your player, it will emit a little pink trail. This pink trail will disappear after five seconds because that's the default. Now I go back to the trail renderer and you can see under the material section, you can select a material. I'm gonna select mine, which is a sprite default, which is the one that I need. So now when you move your player, you can see the sprite default being rendered instead of the default. In my case, I also want to change the time because I don't want the trail to stay there for longer than one second. So I'm gonna change it to 0.3. Because I want the end of the trail to be closed in, I need to adjust the width. After this, you will finish off with a very elegant tail. Now the start point of the trail isn't actually fitting with the width of the ball. So we want to adjust the width. In my case, it will be 1.9. It fits just perfectly. Now we need to add color to our trail. So just click on color and we will create a gradient because that's what I want. So in the beginning, we are going to have the trail be blue and in the mid section purple and in the last section white. After this, we have our final result. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what would you like to do next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are going to be uploading a lot of content related to Unity programming. So anyways guys, goodbye.